So let's now go ahead and talk about what we're going to be seeing throughout this weekend and also even to the start of next week. So we still have that chance for some scattered showers and even thunderstorms because we have several different fronts moving throughout our area. And because of that, the humidity is definitely going to be on the rise. So here's our current storm setup right now. We still have one area of high pressure that we're watching just off to our coast, just off the western, excuse me, just off of our coast. And as it's rotating clockwise, any moisture that is going to be in this general area is going to be driven all northward because of that clockwise spin. And also, as you can see, we have several different cold fronts and also areas of high pressure back out towards our west. And as, and as all this moisture is going to be driven north, that will lead to the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms to be forming up right along the eastern coast of the Carolinas. So here's the current look at it right now. We're still seeing one uh, pretty good size of, uh, excuse me, line of storms moving throughout our area and going just to the west of Moorhead City, down through our Myrtle Beach and Myrtle Inlet, and then now just to the north of Charleston. But in particularly, I'm watching this main system right now because this one is, has, has been producing some very heavy rain over the last hour. So now it looks like the heaviest of rain now is just now to the west of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. North, north Litchfield Beach is, is about to get hammered. Plantersville is about to get hammered or is already getting hammered. And same for you there, Myrtle's Inlet and Garden City Beach. And thankfully right now, we're not really seeing any type of rotation on our velocity radar that would possibly indicate a tornado. However, anywhere in this in this brighter red right here, that is where we're seeing some of the stronger winds, so maybe gusting up to around 40 or even 50 miles an hour. As we go ahead and take a look at our weekend forecast, once again, we're still keeping that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially there on Saturday, where we have our best chance of rain, about a 60 to 70 percent chance of seeing some showers or maybe even thunderstorms and popping out in the high in the low 80s in the afternoon, going down into the low 70s at night. And as we head into Sunday, we're still seeing that chance of some scattered showers and maybe even some thunderstorms. About a 50-50 shot of seeing any storms. We'll be topping out in the high 70s at night, excuse me, in the, in the afternoon, and then going down into the low 70s as we end off the day. But really the key takeaways from this weekend include, uh, once again, that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with our temperatures topping out in the high 70s to low 80s. And once again, because we have several different systems, Working, working their way throughout our area, that will definitely keep our humidity up high. And plus, there's a lot of atmospheric moisture moving throughout our area. So all those factors are, will definitely uh, uh, lead to an increase in humidity around our local area. So that is it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And have